Hey everybody, welcome back to the Ad Ad Chat. I have a uh, quick update from the road again. I am on my way to work and I have a couple thoughts and I just want to say uh, shout out to Hello Greedo for posting the My Morning Coffee because it really got my ideas flowing this morning for what I wanted to say because I've had sort of this itch I wanted to scratch on fan entitlement for a couple of days and I just haven't been able to articulate it in our uh, essentially I'm just forcing myself now to talk about it so fan entitlement it's really bugging me okay and what I mean by this is people believing that they are owed something specific out of a film and this is rampant right now online and it's getting to be actually pretty bad in my opinion we have a large population of people that I am lucky to interact with on YouTube that are reasonable, um, that can form critical opinions for and against some of these films without turning it into an ad hominem attack festival or a you are a shill for enjoying something attack. You know, just the typical if you like this movie, you're an idiot responses. You know, I, I don't like that mentality on either side of the aisle. I think if you can't articulate your point clearly then yeah maybe you are kind of a dum-dum but if you don't like a movie I don't think you're dumb okay I just want to put that out there it's not a terrible thing to let a movie get to you and sort of like bum you out and be critical of it what the issue is is saying this movie should have fucking done this because X Y and Z and they owe this to me because I've been a fan since I was three. Okay, no, that's dumb because there are way more people on the earth than you. And, you know, if I have to use an example here, let's look at another franchise going through another sequel trilogy, Jurassic Park. Now, Jurassic Park never had prequels. And there wasn't a ton of extra material that Star Wars had, such as, you know, the comics, the books, or just, you know, extended universe. That's not kind of a thing with Jurassic Park, at least not that I'm aware of. But, you know, they did do the soft re boot with Jurassic World, adding some new context to the whole franchise, as well as adding a little bit more to the story while retreading some of the things that we know that are Jurassic Park. But I didn't like it, okay? I think it looked nice. I think everybody involved was talented to a degree, obviously, because like the film made a lot of money and it pleased a lot of people. And I'm not going to discredit that. It really did well. It just wasn't for me. And what I will not do is stoop down to some level of saying this movie is shit because it didn't do this one thing that I wanted. And because I wasn't serviced in this way from Colin Trevorrow specifically, because he didn't spoon feed my fan stuff into my mouth, I no longer can enjoy this film and now I need to go attack him on Twitter and wherever else he may be. And then also petition his uh, his his parent company producing his film to fire him from all future trilogies. See, to me, that's just, that's just absurd, right? Now, once it's out in the world, sure, you can criticize it all you want, but you have to be mildly intelligent about how you do that. Anyways, just just making a quick point. Wasn't a fan of Jurassic World, but I'm not going to go and try to tear down Colin Trevorrow because he didn't live up to my expectations. That's selfish. And that is basically narcissism. And just seeing all this stuff uploaded online about Ryan Johnson's trilogy being canceled and how celebratory that is. Also, that Kathleen Kennedy is going to be stepping down and being replaced and all this other baloney, which is completely unsubstantiated, you know. I mean, it just makes all these people look so dickish for lack of a better word and another ad analogy i would use is um i'm a huge fan of saves the day okay i i'm 32 years old i was i'm born on march 1st 1986 i'm 32 years old and i'm a huge fan of saves the day and what i mean is the first three albums and those those are some of the most important albums to me period that shaped me as a musician as a person the way i relate to anything you know like music is very very uh nostalgic to everybody right but i don't like any of the new saves the day music none of it not one song and i'm not gonna go bitch at chris Connolly for writing music that i don't care for anymore he's still the same guy that made the shit that i liked when i was a kid um, and I love him for creating that stuff. Thank you. Thank you, Chris. I love it. But he's also allowed to explore his own shit, okay? And that's what Star Wars is doing. And if you don't want to go along for the ride, get off the boat because you either need to be open to change or you need to get away, okay? Because this is an ever-changing ride and that's the way it should be. We can't continue to think everything needs to be locked in this carbonite box in terms of uh, Star Wars. 
Because then, what is the point of even creating a sequel trilogy? What is the point of creating new EU? What is the point of any of this if we aren't allowed to play in the sandbox? And that's all I have to say. I've said okay about 1,000 times. Adat signing off.